Hi guys, this is Patrick for Screen Studio and tonight we'll have a look at the audio settings in Ubuntu. Uh, basically, if you use the default one that is provided with Ubuntu, you have some kind of basic settings that you can play around like uh, your output, uh, which one will be used and uh, the output audio you can set with your input audio stuff and uh, you have also applications and sound effects. So this is uh, the basic se settings uh, that you can get with uh, Ubuntu when you get it out of the box uh, once uh, it is installed. But if you have more, one, uh, more than one audio source, like I'm currently using an external microphone, so I wanna make sure that my recording software, currently Screen Studio using uh, LibAV Tools, um, is actually using the external microphone and not the default one from my laptop. So to do this, you go in the Ubuntu Software Center and look for Pulse Audio Volume Control. You install that and you just uh, look for it in the dashboard. Look, at, look here, Pulse Audio Volume Control. You start it and you, you'll get more features and more options with uh, the Pulse Audio Volume Control than the default one in Ubuntu. So uh, you still have your output devices, your input devices. You have access to some configuration to disable or enable your audio device uh, devices but what we want to look at see here i'm currently recording with screen studio using avconv or libav tools and i have a choice here to change the audio input i won't click because you will lose uh the uh, audio input i'm current uh, that i'm currently using but uh, it's the same thing for the playback, uh, where application running, uh, playing some music or uh, some videos, you can output where the sound will go. So if I just click, we'll see if, how it goes, but if I just click like that, see I have a choice of inputs that currently Screen Studio is using to record. So you have uh, you have your setup here. You change that as you as you like. And the thing is, uh, next time you will reboot your computer, start your application to record from an external microphone. Pulse Audio will remember the settings that you used. Uh, if it cannot find the audio source, the audio input that was available at that time, and then it will use the default one. But uh, like currently this external microphone is connected through USB and until I unplug it, uh, if I use uh, Screen Studio, Screen Studio will be mapped with the Logitech USB microphone analog mono device, which is actually the microphone from the Rock Band game on the PlayStation 2. It does work as a regular microphone, which is quite nice. So uh, if you want to have more controls uh, over your audio input or output, then simply install Pulse Audio Volume Control. It's actually easy to use and will get the job, the job done as you want it to be done. So hope you enjoyed that little uh, demonstration on audio control in Ubuntu. And as usual, see you another time. Bye.